Halftime of the A-Sun Championship here at Alico Arena. Top seeded FGCU leading two seed Jacksonville 30 to 28 at the break. Excited to be joined by A-Sun Commissioner Ted Gumbart. And what more could you ask for, Ted, out of these couple of weeks of A-Sun Championships for men's and women's basketball? You get the top two seeds meeting in the finals of both. Well, it's been tremendous. And for a conference that focuses on basketball, this is the best time of year and the most exciting. And, uh, you know, certainly being down here at FGCU is a great time of year to be down here. But they earned it. And that's part of the deal in our conference, that you earn your right to host throughout the tournament. So FGCU was our top men's and women's during regular season. So as long as they survive tournament, they host. And so it provides, A, a little advantage for the regular season performers. Sure. And uh, so that helps one and two get to this game. But it also gives the way we do it, there's a couple days off between rounds. So when we're ready for our championship, the team's arrested, they're prepared, the scouting report is in, and we feel like it gives us better basketball. You're going to get the best uh, of all these teams. Now, in the women's division, the winner of this, of course, gets the automatic bid into the NCAA tournament. Could there be an at-large awaiting the second-place team in the A-Sun? Well, I think that's uh, strictly due to how this game comes out. But FGCU's got to be in the running. We have a link to the committee. We talked to that liaison uh, throughout the season and then this week, obviously, and feel like that uh, the work that FGCU did, and they talk about the complete body of work that at the beginning of conference play, their RPI was in the teens. So if you're a fan of FGCU and you follow them, you know that they're uh, absolutely an at-large candidate. Well, as basketball winds down here in the month of March, a lot of great sports uh, throughout the A-Sun Conference, obviously heating up, and that includes baseball and softball. And both of those sports, all the teams across the board are off to great starts. Oh, it's tremendous. This is the time of year, uh, especially in the south where we are, that spring starts coming out. We get the best of basketball, but springtime pumped up. I think the combined men's and women's, the baseball, softball, were over 80 games over 500. Amazing. And so we're definitely looking uh, with teams ranked. We're chasing at larges in those sports. And traditionally, golf and tennis, we've been very strong, men and women. So the springtime's good for us, but uh, we've got a little basketball to attend to yet. Absolutely. But that also speaks to how good this conference is in the out-of-conference before you ever hit league play. Absolutely. And that's where you earn your ranking. So if you're a baseball or softball team, you're rooting for everybody in the league to win non-conference games. And they bring that winning record into the conference play, which only helps you all. So that's what we're looking forward to in those sports. And... Uh, we'll have at least two teams, men and women, going to postseason, maybe more. And uh, we've got half, half here to decide who gets that AQ. Absolutely. Ted Gumbard, commissioner of the A-Sun Conference, excited to be with you. We've got another half of basketball. This one far from being decided as FGCU and Jacksonville just two points separating the top two seeds after two quarters. Stay with us. We're live at Alico Arena. <laughs> 